my channel so today I'm doing a Cricut tutorial for you and I'm going to be showing you how to organize your home now I don't know about you guys but I always start the new year with this mindset that I need to have a deep clean in my house I want to get organized and this year in particular I'm super keen to streamline everything and just make it a little bit easier around the home especially as I have a one-year-old and things just get a bit chaotic so before I get started with the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's get straight on into it so there's lots of amazing products with Cricut that you can utilize to organize your home whether that be standard permanent or removable vinyls to put letters and words onto things but one of the key products that stands out to me and that I've wanted to use for quite a while now is the smart labels so smart labels are writable vinyls that are permanent so what you do is you would use a Cricut pen and you can write whatever word you want onto that label and cut out any shape you like and you can use that to stick onto certain household objects to organise them a little bit better. So I've got a couple of products here that I wanted to share with you for the purpose of organisation and what I'm going to be working with today. So I've got the Smart Label in white and this particular vinyl is compatible with the Cricut Explore 3 and the Maker 3 and it's a smart material which means I don't require a cutting mat but I also wanted to show you that the Joy also has a similar product um, I've got this one which is the Smart Label black writable vinyl permanent sheets with the Cricut Joy metallic markers now these are super super cool I absolutely love them, they came in a set and I think I'm going to use the gold so I'm going to be using the Cricut Joy to create some labels using the smart labels in black with the metallic markers and then I'm going to be doing another project with the smart labels in white and then lastly I also wanted to show you that you can also make really lovely words with your smart vinyl in permanent so I picked up this really nice set of free bathroom organizers and it comes with the free pots I really liked the fact that it had like a larger one and two smaller ones. And then I also got in B&M this set of three glass jars. And I really liked the fact that these were glass and they've got a black top. And I'm gonna be using the smart labels in black for this project. And they're gonna be like coffee jars. So that's gonna be coffee, tea, and then sugar. And then next I got these really nice like plastic containers. I got this really cute like sage green ones and they're airtight containers as well so you like put the top up and then they come out like this and then I got this size one as well I think these two were five pounds each and this one I'm gonna do pasta and then last but not least I got these two smaller ones which were four pounds each For these sage green jars I intend on using the smart label um, with a black pen hopefully if I can find the pen as I mentioned you can do these projects that I'm about to show you with the Joy, the Maker or the Explore. What machine you have will depend on what material you need and I will link down below some links to the smart labels. So I'm going to be using my iPad for this project and I wanted to show you a really awesome new tool and this is on design space is something called editable images you can see it at the bottom so I'm going to be utilizing this tool today to create my labels because there's so many awesome projects already existing in design space so, so I just search label in the top here there's all these amazing editable files and what that means is I can open any of these up and where it's highlighted in blue, I can actually just change the words to say whatever I want it to say. So it's really, really cool. And I've already saved a few of my favorites. Oh, here we go, my stuff. And we can select bookmarked. And there you can see the labels that I've already bookmarked and that I already like the look of. So I'm gonna use, let me just decide. What. So I'm gonna select add. So what you can do is double tap on that layer and then I can put in coffee and I think if I remember rightly we can also change the font so we can actually change the font as well which is really cool um, 
And then knowing my husband, he quite likes very simplistic fonts. He's a graphic designer as well, so whenever I design anything with Cricut, I'm always like, have him in mind and think about what I want it to look like. And to be honest, I do want it to be quite minimalist. So I'm just gonna go through the fonts and then choose something that I like the look of. I'm quite liking this BFC Saturday morning. And then you can also bookmark the font that you like the look of so that you don't lose it whilst you're searching for other ones. So I really like the look of this font called William. So I'm gonna select that one and then press done. And then what I can do is just resize it to make sure that it fits nicely in the label. And then down here, we need to double check what it is. So it says basic operation cut. And we want to select that it's going to be a pen. So click on pen, and then it will ask you what type of pen that is going to be. So it's a marker, and it's a gold marker. So we'll press apply. And there you can see what it's gonna look like as a marker. So just make sure that you're happy with the look. And to be honest, I actually don't like what the font looks like as a gold marker. So I'm gonna go back to the system, go on bookmarks and have a look through the other ones that I like the look of as well. And then I can sort of determine what I think will look good. And to the Four Seasons home decor. Okay, so I like that. I think that looks good. We want to also make sure that the size of the label is the right size. So this is where you would then bring in your jar. So using a ruler, measure the size of the jar. So it's four inches wide. And then we can resize this accordingly. So if you go on to edit, you can do it by dragging it, but I'm gonna make sure that is exactly the width that I want. And I'm gonna do the width to be three inches. So before I go ahead and make it, I'm gonna duplicate three times and then I'm gonna change the text to say what I want for the other ones. So we've got tea and we're gonna have sugar. Amazing, and that's easy, super, super easy to do. And then when we've got our labels and we like the way they look, let's just double check the layers, make sure that we're happy. They are grouped together, so we wanna make sure that they are attached. Attach. Attach. And what that will do, attaching those layers means that when you are cutting everything out and doing all the pens and everything, it will make sure that nothing's skewed um, so the text will be exactly where it needs to be. So we can go ahead and press make it and it's without matte. So there you can see the lovely project all laid out. We go on all materials and then smart label writable paper. So you select that. And it's telling us to load the tool, load tools and mat. So we need to load the gold pen in first. To load the pen, you just take the cap off, sit it in like that and lock it. Take the piece of smart label vinyl. And then we can press go and it will start to draw. And then we don't want to unload the mat. We just want to unclip the pen pop in our blade and then close it and then on the machine you'll press go. Amazing, so we can just press on load and they are the stickers looking super cute. Make sure the groove is at the back. And then we'll just repeat the process with the other two jars and they're done. Next up, I'm gonna be doing the white jars. So let's choose this label. I think this one's good. And then I'm just gonna double tap. I actually really like the look of that writing as well, to be honest. So I genuinely think I won't change, change that. So I just wanna make sure though that that layer is a pen and that I've got the right one selected. I'm gonna be using the fine point pen. So 0.4, so I've got that selected, but it's in black and then go on layers, and then the border is the same. So we wanna make sure that that is selected as the same, and, and then the black one. So next we want to change the size. We're going to measure the front of our jar this time, and it's about three inches wide. So I'm actually gonna do it about 2.5. Duplicate, edit that to say rice. Duplicate again. 
This one needs to be resized a little bit. Okay, so we have our four labels and we want to go on lay uh, layers and then we attach. We can select make it and then I'm gonna select a mat this time because I'm actually gonna put the smart material on a mat just where I don't have the pen to fit in my explore. So we're gonna be using the joy. So here we can see those labels. Do the same for this one. Cool, so we can go next, all materials, smart label writable paper. So we want to select that one, put in our black pen. And you will see I've placed it on a mat like this. We're just gonna put it underneath the Okay, game changer. I did not realize that the label was clear and now I love it even more. Yay, it looks so good. So let's do these three labels together. And it's clear, how cool is that? That the pen writes on that. I just think that's so cool. Okay, and then we can, and then there are air bubbles, but I'm gonna just make sure that the pen is dry before I start rubbing on it. Um, but you can use your little scrapery tool. Mine's gone a bit too sharp, so I'm just gonna be careful with this. So cool. It looks so good. So I'm gonna zoom out and show you what they look like. Last but not least, I'm going to be labeling this lovely bathroom set. So we're actually gonna be doing more of a vinyl rather than a label. So in that case, I just thought I would find some inspiration, but nothing's coming up. So what we'll do is we'll come off of this and if we go close and we actually go on to images, type in bathroom. Aha, so we can find some really cool inspiration here. Maybe this one would be quite cool. I finally decided what I wanted. So I've got facial care for my husband, cotton swabs, because I actually do need to use one of these boxes for cotton. And we've got scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, edit. And we want it to be about nine inches. Facial care, we want these to be about four inches. Four and four. Lovely, jubbly. And then go on layers. Make sure we're happy with all of them, and I am, so we can press make it without mat. So we've got our make, press next, smart vinyl permanent. Time to weed off the excess vinyl. So for these like little square ones, we actually wanna take out the letters. Get yourself some transfer paper. Need our little scrapey tool. Help pick up all those little middle bits. We have our pot, make sure there's no dust or anything. And then we can place it on. There you go. Repeat the process with your other pots and I'll show you the finished result. And there we have it you guys. I hope you found this video super helpful and I cannot wait now to take my brand new jars, organize everything in my life. I'm just super keen now to get stuck in and organize everything. So I hope this video helped give you some inspiration on how to organize your life with Cricut, whether that be with the smart labels or with vinyl. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I really wanna reach 100K by the end of the year and I'm super close, so yeah, please support this channel, um, it really means a lot to me. Let me know in the comments if there's any other videos that you'd like to see me do, and give this video a thumbs up. I think that's it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, bye.